Hey everybody, it's Frank with the Deep End, and I installed the Pulse Tech the attendant on my pool this week. I replaced the iOcelink RS16 that I had that had failed, and we're still using the box as a load center for my control system. And we did a Pulse Tech. We just basically ran all the low voltage to the Pulse Tech the attendant. And, and programmed it. But the reason for the video is Poolside Tech already saved my bacon. Uh, temperatures are dropping like crazy. We've dropped 15, 20 degrees in the last couple of hours and we're well below freezing now. And I got an alert uh, from the attendant app and I'll post the uh, screen that it showed me that my spa side actuator, my primary actuator number three, which is this actuator was not functioning. and. It was not going to spa mode. And that means I would have lost all this plumbing here that would have froze if that would have not given me, given me that alert. So pull side attack has already saved my bank. Really happy with it. And I'll show some screenshots of the attendant screens where it shows you when you're in freeze protection mode, what actuates under which mode it has. This screen lists all the different paths that freeze protection will cycle through. I have 7 paths for pump 1, 3 paths for pump 2, and 3 paths for pump 3. You may also look at each path individually. This is the second path for pump 1, the second path for pump 2, and the second path for pump 3. Of course I have 8 actuators on my system, so I did have to do a double the attendant uh, box because each one can only handle five actuators, but numerous pumps and lights and everything else. Really smart system. It tells me what's actuated, what's in freeze protection mode. It shows me the chart on the water flows, and it basically determines for you what actuators need to go. But it's incredible that it told me that this actuator was not functioning. I already got it working. So it's already saved me this plumbing here. Really happy with it. Uh, the app, I'm still learning everything it can do, uh, but very impressed. And like I said, uh, any other system would not have told me yet that I had an actuator that was not functioning. For my pool, if anybody's interested, this is my pool. I got a hot tub. <laughs> Got a fountain that pours into the hot tub, that pours into the baby pool, that pours into the pool. I have a drain in the baby pool right there. And so I can heat just the hot tub, or I can heat the hot tub and the baby pool. So if the grandbabies are in, I can heat these two bodies of water, not heat the pool, or I can heat just the hot tub. It is a larger hot tub, so it does take a little longer to heat. But, uh, we got some renovation work coming up on the hot tub, on the pool, but uh, anyway, this is my pool setup, but in my equipment setup, but I could not be happy with the attendant. Like I said, it already told me that uh, I had a valve not working. How it knows I don't have a, I didn't have a valve working, I can't really tell you, but it knew it, and so I swung by the house, uh, got it fixed, and now I'm good to go. So Poolside Tech, love it. Recommend it to anybody.